Some of you guys think you're better than it. You think you're above it. Who do you think you are? The game don't mean enough to you. And that's very apparent. You better wake up and get some pride in your game. Come in here, go, go out there and play like Now the is coached the right way. I don't want any excuses. Selfish What the hell is this? Look at this crap. You kidding me? It ain't okay to go around here and not know. That ain't cute. You got it? That ain't cute and it ain't acceptable. It ain't okay to not know. Really don't care. About as selfish an act as you could be. Grow the f up! Look at this! You kidding me? What I tell you about your feet? Not so what? And I told you to do what? <laughs> Go back and attack the man, correct? You understand? And you wonder why I'm on your ass all the time. Because you like to do everything your way. You understand? You're going to do it my way. Got it? That's one man talking to another man. I'm not in the bathroom talking behind your back, talking about I'm a man. I'm coming to talk right in your face. And I'm telling you, do it the way I tell you to do it. You got it? That's a man. I told you to your face. What I tell you to do? I said get what? I said get what first? What I tell you to do? I said get the push first. Right? I said get two yards of push on the three count, didn't I? You do what I tell you to do, okay? You understand, Smith? You ain't good enough to be a Do you understand that? You understand that? Do what I tell you to do. One, two, three, four. You got it, Hegeman? Number four in the seat gap. Who do you block? You got three to two. Do you start on defense? No. So what are you going to do? Sit your ass around on the sideline and watch the game? We got enough people around here doing that Ain't important to you. Malachi, I've been telling you for two years, right there, the same crap. Do you start? You a superstar? How many Pro Bowls you, have you been to? You got a gold jacket? So who are you? I'm going to tell you, Coach Smith asked me, what do you think All right, about Malachi Gooman? He don't want it, Coach. That's what's getting said. He don't want it. Told you, right to your face. That's bull And I'm going to tell you something both. Now, you won't, you won't, you think, oh, I'm going to screw it up and I'll get off of everything, so guess where you're going to be tomorrow morning on punt? On the show team. Get your ass in here tomorrow morning. I'm going to put you on everything now. Both of you. You got it? You want to be slick, huh? I got something slick for you. Call it what it is. Grow up or get out. It's that simple. Because time is that short. On Saturday night, the Falcons will play their third preseason game. Sunday morning, they'll cut their roster down from 90 to 75. Time to man up or find another line of work. You can't look at your opportunity in the NFL as this has always been my goal to get, get a chance in the NFL. Mm -hmm. You're trying to make the team. You're trying to make a living. So when I hear you say things like, oh, I got the first big hit of the camp. I got the first big hit of the year. And that's considered big. <laughs> I got the impression that you were more interested in getting their autograph than playing against them. Not at all. And that's, yeah, it should not be like that. And I don't want to, you know, I, don't, I want to chill out on those comments. That, yes, sir. That sound like, wow. Oh my God, I'm here. I'm finally getting a bat. And you're no longer admiring Matt Ryan. I mean, this is now you're trying to make him look bad. Yeah. And the process of making him look bad makes you look good. Yeah. You're trying to compete 
with these guys right here in front of you for a job. Yes, sir. It's a, it's a fairly good job. Like two or three years ago when I was playing, I didn't really care about football. You know what I'm saying? I was just having fun. Two or three years ago? No, I mean, like, my first two or three years in the league. Oh, that's when you said that's what I was Yeah, I was just having fun. You know, you feel the older dudes used to be like, man, come on, Riley. Next year, man. We'll get this next year. Again. Then when you get when you get to that year 10, and you like, come on, young. You know what I'm saying? And they like, next year, you like, Oh, no, now. no, now. Now. <laughs> I need that now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm going to stand your ass whether you're looking at it or not. I'm not doing you any, I wouldn't do you any favor if I wasn't on you. Huh? Hey. You know when you're getting cut? You know when? You know how you know? Coach, quit talking to you. That's when you know you're out the door, baby. All right? Or he doesn't care about you. All right? Mm. Yeah. I do not know. Huh? I don't want to watch it no more. No, you need to watch this shit. It's I want you to see how pitiful you look. Look at that. Look at this. Man, you just take whoopings like that? I see it. Well, I'm, I'm saying they making you their jailhouse. You just giving in to it. I put my name on you. And I think you're going to be a very good player if you don't let the streets of Atlanta get you. I think you're going to be a very good player. But you got to have more pride and character than that. Look at that. You call yourself an NFL player? That's high school Harry Bulls. That ain't good enough. If, in fact, it suck. When training camp's over, what are you gonna do as a pro to prepare your body and prepare your mind to get yourself right? why we need to put something together for him. Because that's pathetic. Just dog Come on, man. Stop. Maybe you'll get in shape. We will not have to do it. Turn around and go back. Go. That took you two minutes to run over back, over back. That's horrible. Go. Get yourself in some shape. That's on you, not me. Hey, look. Take the water bottle and go. Don't just stand up there. That same bullshit doing the game. Go! Hey, do you not hear me? Go! She, do you not hear me? Go. Don't stop. Just keep running. Go down the back. We're going to keep running you for a while. Come on, man. You holding me up. I got a meeting to go to. How many more you got? You a man now. Act like a man. Yeah, but that ain't being a pro. You ain't make your times. It's the reason why you're out here running. Just turn around and keep going. Go back. That took you a minute and four seconds to just run the half a guy. pathetic. That's it. You guys that were here with us at the last game of last season, Tony Gonzalez got up and talked. What was the message that he had? Anybody remember what he talked about? What's that, Matt? It was all about his routine. His routine, right? Okay. This guy, we all know, is going to get a yellow jacket in five years from now. And he talked about the routine. You guys that have been around Tony know what it was. He had a routine. And every single day that he came to work, when he went out on the practice field, it's time for us to get your routine that we're going to be doing all season long. You guys that have been in the league, you know how it is. Help some of these young guys that are going to help us win games understand what it takes during a week in the NFL to be prepared on Sunday. It's this much in the NFL. We all know that, right? We have got to make sure that we go out there and we know what our job is. Older guys, help these younger guys get through it. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate.
Seen anybody ride a bike like that? Sweat like you do. You're a mean, lean fighting machine, though. For what? You 55 yet? 55. Double nickels, man. You're a mean, lean machine. I'm closer to 56. Man. Mike Nolan started coaching football 33 years ago, more than a decade before quarterback Jeff Matthews was even born. The rookie from Cornell is the Ivy League's all-time leading passer, and the kid's got an arm. Nice shot, Jeff. You do throw the ball hard. Like, I don't, I don't know if you, I, you can't intend to try to do that. No, I mean, but, I just, I just But when throw. you throw it. <laughs> Jeff throws it hard as <laughs> doesn't he? He just <sighs> spins it, too. He does spin it. I give it to him. Rev the goat. Rev the goat. Rev the goat. It's a little different, huh? Which one? Nine? Go. Yes. It sounds nothing like mine, right? It's, it's straight college. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad. Poor guy. He's trying so hard. Here we go. I think there's a lot of things that are thrown on rookie quarterbacks when you come in, and one of which is trying to, to mimic, you know, my cadence and, and making everything sound similar. Uh, <laughs> he hasn't been very good with it so far. Ready for go! Let's go! Let's go! I can't yeah. let you take 11 guys down, right? I can't. Thanks, I love, I love how you're throwing the ball out there. Like in those drills when we were throwing those uh, wheel routes in the wind today, that was outstanding. Can't do it if I'm taking you out of the huddle. I, I understand it's on me. I mean, it's, you know, this is my job, and I need to do better with getting the play to, you know, snap the ball. How can I help you? Tell me how to help you. Because right now, I'm just getting <laughs> off at you. Not <laughs> off at you as a person, but when the littlest thing goes wrong with the verbiage, it seems like you have a tough time overcoming that. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think, you know, yeah, I mean, I, I, I agree with what you're saying. I don't know it. I don't know it like I would like to know it. You, you got to do something because you're not getting very many reps. And then when you get, don't get very many reps and you screw them up three days in a row, then you're going to, you know, you, yeah, we got to give, we got to give those reps to Sean then. And, uh, but the, it's not, it has nothing to do with your ability or your smarts, but you got to put it together. I know it's hard. I mean, I know if I gave you 20 reps, you wouldn't make 20 mistakes. You maybe would only make 19. Kidding. Yeah. Don't get so pressured up. Relax. Signal it. Visualize it. Draw, draw it up more. Ask Glenn to give you those tests. Take yeah. those tests every day. Okay? Sounds good. All right. Thank you. into camp, some rules get relaxed. Players can now head home at the end of the day. And veterans, with their fast cars and big houses, take full advantage. Very well, Flyer Branch, very well. You happy dad at home now? OK, I got your tongue. Daniel, you gotta look at the ball. No, you were looking at Daniel the whole time the ball was coming down at you. 
Some guys play golf, some guys do lots of other things, but Matt likes fish. How was practice, Love Muffin? It was good. What are you doing? Okay, do you tell Daddy? Hold on one second. Daddy. What's up, buddy? Why are you coming back home? Right now, I just left work. I can't wait to eat them. I might just go to the barn. I might go have a margarita by myself. There you go. <laughs> what are you doing? Did you eat lunch? Yeah. What'd you have? Chili. Chili? Yeah. Oh, man, are you going to be farting tonight? I'm so thankful Croy is home because four little ones under three is a lot. Right, Daddy? Yes, and they it listen is. to Croy. They don't listen to me. Not too Not high. Not too high, KJ, no. That's Cash, high, come here. That's high enough. I'm gonna get you. Make sure you're straight. Go. Watch out, KJ. Is this not the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen? Really, Croy? Are you glad to be home, baby doll? I sure am. You are? Look at him. You get to sleep in your own bed? That's the best part. Sleeping in your own bed, right? And waking up with these little turkeys. I like Oreos, man. That's what I can't stop eating. You ever tried the lemon ones? Where'd you find those at? You found lemon Oreos. Now let me ask you this, does it say lemon? Like, it says lemon Oreos. And what store is this, what store is this at? Oh, they just came out. Brand new, huh? I gotta stay away from those. Man, them cookies is dangerous, man, I'm telling you. I can't stop eating cookies. I am. No, like, just like cookies, cake, stuff like that. No, I don't like the little devils. Can't stand them, man. None of them. None of them. Not even the honey buns. But cookies, though, all day. You know, because we're, we're all born and die. Dude, that's not a true statement. Yes, it is. So if that were true, then let's, let's think of it like this. You're born to get cut, then. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, you're born to, you're born to leave the that's league. Not, that's not accurate, okay. No, that's okay. not accurate. I'm born to fact. live and then I die. It's a fact. Once you are born, you are going to die at some yeah, point. Yeah, but also you're going to live, too. That's a fact, too. Yeah, you're going right? to live. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So but why, it's why a fact. would I say born to die? I'd rather but it's, it's, say it's, born it's to not live. a fact saying that you're going to get cut, because you may not get cut. All right, well, you're, you're bound to leave the league. Yeah, yeah, you can say that. So that's why a fact. Why do I have to walk around? Man, I'm going to leave this league soon. Man, I'm going to die You might as well take full advantage of it. Get it, hey, get it stretched, guys. We gotta get some work done. Still have some work to get done. That's coming down, bro. That's what you call a torrential, right? Would that be torrential? Yeah. Decision, Smitty. Oh, God, throw it. Oh. Sure, what is happening? Yeah, nice. Just struck That's one. literally right outside the facility. Did it? Yeah. Wow. What is going on? Holy smokes. Back outside. <laughs> I've never had the power out in here. I just don't want a tree to go through my car. A big man does not want to fight sleep. That is a storm this time.
the jersey? Yes, sir. You see the jersey? What's yeah, the, the Chicago jersey. What's you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it's in the back. Shout out to my dog, Dev, man. My dog looked out for me. Put it out in my basement. You know what I mean? Let him know, man. Oh, oh, oh. Shout out to my dog. Damn, my jersey, man. You want one, baby? I want one with each two. I want one to the crib. I don't want no regular one. Okay, Terry, wide receivers. For the, uh, for the whole group, coach, the entire room was terrible. Everybody stunk. Me too. Uh, Rod and who ain't in the game. When it came time to make a play, those two guys didn't make the play. And I'm going to get them two. Them two, them two everybody says so pretty. I'm going to get them tomorrow. They're pretty. going to get me fired. I'm going to show them tomorrow. Better get off go to work. Can't hit the wake out. Hey, you on goal line? You on goal line? Are you on goal line? That's all I, just answer the question. Are you on goal line? Good, I think I would say to you that. Let me tell you for a third <laughs> I'm on goal line. I like that. Get ready to get, get ready to get blown off the ball today. What's up? You ain't break a sweat yet. Who? You. Roddy. Hey, now you're working me too hard today. Go ahead, then. You got to run. Quit walking if you're going to condition it. My sister can, can she, my sister do that. She walk for condition. Go ahead, get in there. You go get some conditioning. Let's go, Roddy. Let's go, baby. Hop over, hop over, hop over. Ready to go. Hey, Roddy, you working today, boy? <laughs> good ride, good ride, good ride, good ride. Too hard day. Some rest. First time going through a, a wind. Can you uh, rub down Ryan's arm or ice down <laughs> every, uh, every night because uh, you know the new rules make it advantageous if you got a quarterback that's got a strong arm off. Oh yeah. <laughs> now I'll rub him down. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Cool. Thank you, Greg. Thank you. Appreciate it. Just get yourself in a different position, you know, okay. cross your legs. Just try to find like a position where you're comfortable. Okay. Okay. Pastor's pose. Okay. Okay. So now just separate your hands a little bit. There you go. That's it. Matt, drop your chin a little bit. Just give me just spin the ball, like rotating in your hand. Hold it like you, you would throw it. Put your left hand on your hip. That's it. Looking off to the side again. There you go. Very good. Little smile. Big smile now. All right, terrific. Serious, looking straight ahead. Serious, real serious. All right, so serious now. Game face, looking right through me. All right. Nice. Oh, they're cool. Yeah, it looks great. Well done. <laughs> you can't lose that black shirt. Oh man. Not after I saw the pictures of Colin Kaepernick. You kidding me? <laughs> 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 Holy. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> Life as a cover boy is a whole lot easier when someone as tough as number 61 has you covered. All you need to know about center Joe Holy is his nickname, Joe Brawley. Are you serious? You're a rookie, dude. Did you hear that, rookie? 45. Call my ass out. Are you kidding me? Finish! Finish! Get out of there! Don't come in here! Get out of there! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Left in! Left in for Joe! Joe got thrown out practice. Holly, left in for Joe Holly. Joe came out here one day, he said, he said, man, my mouth tastes like <laughs> I look back, he drinking coffee, eating dip, and eating yeah, sunflower seed. I said, of course your mouth gonna taste like <laughs> you eating all this nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Woo! Woo! Let's 
Let's have some energy today, baby. Let's get after it. Let's get better. Let's get better. Let's show them what we got. Look at Jake. Work your trade, baby. What do you want to make? 55 or 25? 55 is a mic. 55, Larry, inside. Joe Hawley has had, uh, in my opinion, an excellent camp. Base, base, base! Sunday, Sunday. Go. Good finish, Joe. Look at Joe. Lamar. Watch Joe. I need some of that out of you. That is a guy that does not want his guy to touch the guy that has the ball. That's how we all need to play. When I start pointing out some of you young guys, honestly, you're going you're gonna to be disgusted. This is a guy that loves going out there and playing the game of football. This is passion, man. I decided to do it in high school as an elective and really fell in love with it. It's just fun to kind of just relax and just let the clay flow through your hands. It's pretty cool how it takes shape. It never turns out how you want it. You kind of just got to go with the flow and adjust. Having hidden depths can keep a player sane. That's why, for some, working with their hands is a real outlet. Voila. Others head to the outlet mall to work on their feet. I ain't never get one of these, so I don't know the instructions. It's your first time? First time. You're going to love it. OK, Ooh. so do, what do you want to do? Do you want to do a color? A, a color? What, what? What What? you mean? Like pink or red? No, nah, or... no colors. No colors? OK. No colors. <laughs> I'm just here for the massage and the, no polish, no nothing. OK. I'm just here for the massage. This is kind of weird, man. Does it feel weird? <laughs> no, it feel good, but it's just like I never did this before, so it's like. Okay. But the boys were telling me, man, I, I need to you. take care of my dogs more. You do. You got to. That was like hard work, work and feet. For real. <laughs> what position do you play? I play running back. Running back? Yes. Is this your first year? Yeah, first NFL. Cool. Are you excited? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying okay, to be okay. for real. Okay. All right, tell me what to do so I can start laughing because it took I, can't, I don't know what to tell you. I can't tell you to stop laughing. <laughs> all right, all right. Go okay. ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right. That's not bad, is it? It's not that bad. It feel good, it's just ticklish. This is four men, so you're good, okay? All right, I'm good. It's clear, right? It's clear. All right. That's it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm coming back. Expect me to come back ASAP. Good. Tonight at the Big Dome in Atlanta. The Falcons and Titans, because we know the starters won't play next week. This is the game where you're really gauging not only yourself, but the guy standing next to you. He came out lackluster performance last week, low energy. Now's the time when you're going to see guys who had a fire lit underneath them. Is this the legitimate game that can make or break roster hopes? Each preseason game is a huge game for the guys at the bottom half of the roster. This may be the last opportunity that some of these guys get. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. 60 minutes, buddy. Everybody have fun. Now. Let's go to work. Come on, full team. Come on, come on, full team. A lot of these guys are going to be nervous. Yes, right. Keep worried about what's coming. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as you know, the, the, the actual cut is on Tuesday, but we're going to do it tomorrow. Yeah, so I think, yeah, yeah. you know, a lot of them don't even know we're actually doing the release tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. there'll be a lot of speculation. About that. Yes. Let's go.
platform. Yeah. This is your platform. You decide what it's you do up. with it. Yep. You understand? Yep. Hey, come on, come on. Hey, it's on you, fellas, all right? Hey, set the tone. There's a lot of weapons on this offense. It's time to let them fly. Blue, Eddie, sit on it. On the ball, on the ball, on the ball. Third down and four. Under nine to go here in the first period. Atlanta still on its opening drive. Blue, Eddie, sit on it. Prince Shembo, number 53, isn't just playing with the first team defense. He's playing like he belongs there. Second and one inside the cluster. Now that's what you want to see. Prince Shembo put his helmet right over the chin strap of that lineman, then have William Moore coming from the secondary like a heat sick defensive to drop the bomb. Hey, we got you, baby. We got you. They ain't gonna get that first down. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, you guys are still up. Yeah. You're knocking the out of the number one. Griffin. Team here, man. We can be a great football team, bro. If everybody flying around, bro, we'd be stupid. No doubt the Falcons have lots of talent. 
But even so, Julio Jones is a cut above. Pressure coming inside route. Jones first down. Julio spinning away. This game tonight is important for the guys at the bottom half of the roster, but also for the guys who are the starters. You need to know that they and the guy next to them are ready. of a job tonight. The veterans spent the first half playing great. Most of the rookies will spend the second playing for a job. I'm disappointed with your efforts so far. You getting one-on-ones and you sitting there at the line of scrimmage holding each other. Let's run off that ball and go. Listen, now, we got, to, we got to score a touchdown, right? We played pretty good in that first half, but we didn't score many touchdowns. We got two. All right, so if you're content with this, that's not right. We got to go out there and finish now. If they don't score, they don't win. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is an important time for Thomas Dimitrov, Smitty, coaching personnel, scouting departments to put together the roster. So they're gonna get a lot of young talent, a lot of chances to play. You are playing for your NFL career. You on the hand, you gotta give it to me. I need it out to you. We need it out to you. You gotta suck it up. You got 31 plays. That's probably more than you gonna play in the season. You gotta become a man. Your gotta drop. You with me? Even when you're tired, they can't handle your power. You with me? Let's go. Land up. Rookie Rashid Hagman responds to the tough love. This is what he brings to the table. He's got great quickness, strength, and size. Our coach working really hard with him. He's really helped him with how to be a pro. Let's go out there and play like you got some pride. Man up. Seventh round pick Tyler Starr does get in the game, still trying to prove he belongs. These younger and newer players have been really missing out on an opportunity to make a name for themselves. Jaquez Smith made a name for himself with his pugnacious attitude. But tonight, number 45 is playing with his usual fight. At least not until after the whistle blows. Go. 
The linebacker's night is finished. The rookie quarterback's never even begins. Jeff Matthews doesn't take a single snap. Dykes, 24, Falcon 17, Redfrey, laser to bowl the line. 26 yards to the 38. With the game on the line, the undrafted receiver known as Amsterdam is playing himself into roster contention. Middle of the field, ball divine. Amsterdam is a big, tall, strong athlete. They love his potential and his upside. Great job there. Grabs and falls forward to the five. Time out. Pass interference on us. Battle will go to one and two. Final score here doesn't matter one bit. The Falcons fans should be happy with what they saw from the guys that really matter. The guys that count. Good, out there, man. Good to see you guys, man. Best you luck, good luck. Man. Yeah. Pair them up next week. Yep. Here we go, guys. Bring it up. Let's go. Bring it up. Bring it up. We need to play for 60 minutes. We all know that. We started out fast, did some nice things, but we've got to work on the finish part of it. Two weeks to when we're playing for real. We will start putting this team together. Rung out and worried. It's how every player on the tag end of the roster feels. Did I do enough? Should I have played it different? Will I make the cut? It's gonna be better, man. It's gonna be better, bro. I ain't gonna be here if I ain't better. I know, but like, I, I had a couple of opportunities to end the game, you know, not keep my end zone. make one move, Ralph Matthews, Igwe, mm -hmm. you know. Theo's worked hard, comes in, but he was a late guy on the, mm -hmm. on the rotation, and, you know, he looks good. He's in good shape. Oh, gosh. I know. That's, it's a toss-up. That's a toss-up. Tailbacks, um, okay. We're going to have to do uh, Smith today. Yeah. Jerome Smith. He hasn't got that many reps, obviously, right? I mean... It's been limited for him. We're pretty packed in that area. And then we're going to do Matthews on the yes in the quarterbacks. Qu quarterbacks will do Matthews. Okay, so wide receivers, competition-wise, going into the final game, we got Reedy and Boldewan, Ebert and Martino. We're going to today. We're going to move on from Tremaine Thompson, correct? As and well, that's uh, correct. Julian Jones and Julian Jones, just two right now. We're gonna have some competition here between a couple guys, and and uh, we'll see. Uh, 
Jerome. Hey, it's Scott of the Falcons. Can you do me a favor and uh, come over to the team meeting room at 150? Man, I'm not even like close to there. Well, I'm gonna need you to get up here as soon as possible, immediately. All right. All right. Keep me updated on where you're at. All right. All right. Thanks. Hello. Jeff. Yeah. Hey, it's Scott of the Falcons. Can you do me a favor and meet me uh, at the team meeting room at 1.50? Coach Smith would like to talk to you. Today? Yes, today. Yeah, okay. All right, thank you. Okay, Smitty. All right. You doing good? Yes, sir. Hey, Jerome. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Have a seat. Uh, Jerome, as you know, this is the time that we have to start making some decisions on our roster. And uh, we're going to release you today. I want you to know and hear that from me and Thomas. I know it's something that you don't want to hear, but it's part of the NFL and it's part of what we have to do. Uh, and there's no really uh, e easy way to have the conversation. You gotta have it though. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. So it's just a matter of us going through the evaluation process. And I don't understand, it's a numbers game, man. You gotta, you know, you gotta, yep. you know, sad it didn't work out, but you know, I, I enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah. I do want to thank you. I learned a lot while I was here. Mm -hmm. I've learned so much in the, the last three months I've been here. I've been treated, you know, top notch. And yeah. It's a top notch organization. And I bo wish both of y'all nothing but the best. Yeah. I mean, it's been a first class experience uh, from the beginning. I was telling my girl the other day, I said, this is probably the best. I said, it feels like home here. I said, I've never mm -hmm. been in an NFL place to where people actually care about, you know, the actual person. I mean, everybody is just so welcoming and just. I mean, it's not like that other places, as you know. You, you just a body somewhere else, but no. But no, it, I definitely can tell that that's what y'all pride yourself on, and I, and I really appreciate it. Obviously, you got my number, right? Right. But it's got all the stuff in here from from my department, our play engagement stuff. But if you need something, man, just 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 let me know. It's gonna work out. It's a bend in the road, bro. It's part of the process. It is. And you can take all your cleats, all your gloves. Yeah, cleats, gloves. You can take all that. Put that, put that in your trash bag, man. Take, take it with you. All right. Good luck to you, bro. All right, brother. Yeah. All right, man. What I tell you guys, I said everybody in this room might not make this team, but everybody in this room can play in this league. Right. Just don't forget that. All right? If you need something, holler at me. Yeah. Uh, we'll bring, I think it's Jeff Matthews next. Hey, Jeff. Hey, hey, hey Jeff. Hey, yep. Ha have a seat, Jeff. Um, as you know, we got to get our roster down, yep. and uh, we're going to have to make a transaction day. We're going to release you, okay? Yep. But uh, as, you also got to be aware when you're the fourth quarterback, you're it's hard to get reps, and we didn't get an opportunity to get you as many reps as you'd like, I'm sure. But you've, you've done a good job here. And uh, I pre you know, I appreciate it very much, your hard work, and I hope you've been treated treated well and you've enjoyed your time here. Definitely. Thank you, guys. Yeah. I know that uh, to echo what Smitty said, I mean, Jeff, professional beyond the way you handled yourself. You fit in well with those guys and from day one, so really do appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. All right, man, Good. you hang in there and keep working, okay? We'll do it. Okay, Thank all right, you got it, man. We'll Thank see you again, I'm sure. Thank you. Okay, Jeff. He wasn't into saying a whole bunch. No, he wasn't. You know, well, each guy handles it differently.
kind of I kind of came late after rookie minicamp and all of that stuff. But it was just a great opportunity to learn from from some of the greats. You know, you learn what you can from and you keep moving forward. Overall, of course, it's a, you know it's a maturing process, and um, you know it didn't happen for me today. So definitely some things I need to work on for it to happen in the future. I wasn't dynamic enough today, but you know, still tomorrow. You just talking to Smitty? Yeah, just Gary the body. Did you? Yes, sir. Pull up the chair there, man. Glad you stopped by. Good luck to you, man. And, yes, sir. And remember this: what I always tell you, you know what your strengths are. Don't ever lose those. And whatever your weaknesses, just keep improving on it. Yes, sir. And you'll be fine.